In addition to creating equipment symbology, AutoCAD PNID creates symbols that represent instrumentation devices. Since most instruments are small, the industry uses bubble annotation to represent specific types of devices. These devices include PLCs, discrete instruments, displays, computers, and other functions. To add instrumentation items to the current drawing, begin by drawing an instrument line. From the Lines tab in the Tool Palette, select the Electrical Signal Line. Select the Start Point along the motor of the pump. Draw the line down, and then to the right. Press Enter to finish the command. Switch to the Instrumentation tab. Select the AUX Accessible Discrete Instrument symbol. Place it along the signal line. When the Assign Tag dialog appears, you'll see a list of available abbreviations and descriptions. You don't have to pick an item from the list, so type SC for the type. For the loop number, type 301. Make sure the Place Annotation object is deselected and click Assign. The symbol is now located on the line and will move with the line as needed. Next, you'll need to add some symbols to indicate I.O. connections. From the Instrumentation tab, select the Field PLC symbol. Place it at the end of the signal line. When the Assign Tag dialog appears, type DI for the type and 301 for the loop number. Click Assign to complete the command. Next, add a few more devices to the model. Add two more electrical signal lines from the Lines palette so that you can add two more instruments to represent I.O. connections. One thing to point out, check your O-snaps. Make sure you have Endpoint turned on. This makes it easy to connect to ends of schematic lines. Turn on O-Track as it helps you keep your line work nice and tidy. Once you get the lines drawn, go back to the Instruments tab. Select the Field PLC again, and add a tag to the top line. When the Assign tag appears, type AO for the type. The loop number may already have the number 301 populated. Leave this as is and then click Assign. Repeat the steps to add an instrument to the bottom line, but this time type DO for the type. Step back and review the instrument palette. For PIP standards, there are relief valves, primary element symbols, flow symbols, and general instrument bubbles. Each of these are designed in accordance with PIP standards, but you can modify them as needed to comply with your standards. While you've been adding all this symbology, the program is keeping up with the data. Take a quick look at this data by selecting the Data Manager from the Ribbon Home tab Project Panel. The Data Manager keeps up with information at different levels. At the top of the dialog, expand the drop-down and make sure this is set to Current Drawing Data. The list displays all of the engineering items, and you can drill down to specific items, such as the instrumentation. Any field that's not gray can be edited, so you can change the location, description, manufacturer, and more. So now you know how adding instrumentation and other symbols to a diagram in AutoCAD PNID is actually doing more for your projects. It's helping you track data and content in the project in a very simple way.